Oliver, it looks like Bank of Ireland is the sort of turnaround story of the Irish, quote, recovery, end of quote. Um, obviously, the country is exiting the uh, IMF Troika bailout in a few days' time. And today we had Bank of Ireland raising some money in the, in the markets and kind of shifting some of its um, rescue burden onto, pr onto private investors and away from the state. Yes, that's right. It's, it's undergoing its own version of, of uh, getting out of the bailout. What it's done today, it's a, a sort of two-pronged package, um, which is designed to address 1.8 billion euros worth of preference shares that were sold to the government during the rescue in 2009. Mm. And what it's doing with those, it's raising 500 million, ju just under 600 million euros <coughs> of our share placing to pay some of those preference shares off. The rest, about 1.3 billion euros worth of being sold to private investors. So the state is getting out of these preference shares mm. entirely, although for Bank of Ireland it's redeeming a portion of them and there'll still be some left. Right, but the state still remains a shareholder in the equity of Bank of Ireland. I mean, that's clearly a significant um, uh, investment still in the sector. And it's also the only bank uh, in Ireland now that has any kind of um, uh, sort of private sector um, ownership, uh, you know, because uh, I think the state is 15%, but the rest of it is it's floated in the market. That's right. The rest of it is floated in the market. The, there's the state's 15% uh, stake, which w it will likely look to sell down over the coming years, or there's mm. no firm timetable for that yet. Um, and then, as you say, it's the only private sector-owned bank in Ireland. And as such, it's the if you want to play as an investor, if you want to play the um, Irish recovery via a bank share, it's the only game in town. Mm. And it's really been benefiting from that in the past year. Its shares are up about 130% in the past year against 15% for European banks more generally. Generally. So people have really been um, backing it in recent months. Yeah, I mean, obviously what, what the Irish recovery needs <coughs> is a strong bank. Um, ideally two banks, but certainly it needs one strong bank at least. Uh, I wonder whether Bank of Ireland has actually turned the corner permanently um, away from the crisis or, you know, there's, there's everybody's talking about this new sort of mortgage default problem that's building up there now. I wonder whether that's a sort of long-term worry for the bank and for the Irish economy generally. Well, it's certainly taking a step on the road to, to recovery, particularly with the, the, the package of deals that announced today. But it's not quite there yet. I mean, its capital position still looks fairly thin, although the, the Irish Central Bank has given its seal of approval mm. to Bank of Ireland's capital position. So th there might be some capital issues further down the road. Now, if the Irish economy recovers, all that will be forgotten. The bank will generate profits. It will rebuild its capital. It can lend more, and all looks mm. good. If the Irish recovery falters, or even if the asset quality review that the European Central Bank carries out next year uncovers some problems, well, then there might be some concerns. Okay, well, certainly it's good news today uh, on the Irish front, and uh, good news for Bank of Ireland as well in, in being able to raise uh, capital from new investors. Thanks, Oliver.